Welcome to the Kanban Board App in Gato tutorial. In this tutorial series, you will learn about theming, user interface design, loading and saving data, drag and drop and much more in Gato. If you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe it's free and helps the videos reach more people. Don't forget to like too. So let's get started with this video. Let's change the cursor on the add button to the pointing hand. On the button node, in the mouse section, choose the pointing hand for default cursor shape. Let's also change the font color to white for the hover and press states. Let's continue in the script. In the reset method, we simply set the text of the title value node to an empty string. And do the same for the description value node. Let's add a variable labels chosen which is an empty array in column to add to which will be null. In reset, we will set the array to be an empty one. Then in the ready method, let's call a method in it labels. And define that method. Here we first get a reference to the labels node. And then for each label we set the clickable to true, and also connect the input event signal to a method. This method has a node and input event. Here we first check if the event is only a mouse button event. If not, we return. Then we check if the left mouse button was pressed. Then if the node is already in labels chosen we remove it otherwise we add it. This will allow us to select and deselect multiple labels which we want for the card. Finally, we call update labels. Since we are using labels node repeatedly, let's make it a global variable. Here again, we loop through each label in labels node. And we need to either set the color to the normal one or a dark one. The dark color will be used to show that the label is selected. To darken the color, Gato has the darken method. Then we duplicate the style box and update the background color of the style box with the new color.
Finally, we set the style box to the new one. Now, we need to define this set clickable method on the color label. So go to the color label script, and here at the end, let's define it. It will accept a parameter val. If val is true then we need to set the mouse filter to stop. Otherwise, we set it to pass. We also set the cursor shape to pointing hand or arrow based on val. If val is true, we connect the GUI input signal to a method, otherwise, we disconnect it. In this method, we emit our custom signal called input event and pass in self which is this color label and we also pass the event. We need to declare this signal above. Back in the add item model script. Let's connect the press signal of the add button to a method. In this method, we will make the card scene and add it to the column. So first let's get the data of the labels which the user has selected. We loop through each of the chosen labels and append their data to an array. In the color label script, define that method get data that returns a dictionary with the name and color values. Now we can make the new cards data. It will have an ID, a title, a description and labels. For the ID, we will use the data stores GenUID method, the title and description we will get from the nodes. and labels is our labels to add. We should also return if there is no title for the card. Now let's preload the card scene into a variable using the preload method of Gato.
Then we make an instance of the card scene and run the from data method and pass in the data. Then we can add the card to the column to add to. And update that column so it auto saves the data. Finally, we hide this add item model. In the column script, let's define the get cards container method. It will simply return the cards node. Now let us also define the update column method. In this method, we will first clear the cards data. Then loop through each cards node and append its data to the data variable. Then we check if the column has an ID. If it does then we can call the update column of the data store to save this column data. In the data store script, we need to rename the method to update column. If you have any doubts about the code, do join the Discord. Link in description. Let's test the scene. Looks like I typed the wrong path for the add button. Let's just make it a variable. So in all the places where we loop through the nodes, we need to add the get children method. Oh, we have to also set the column to add to variable. So let's traverse the call stack. When the add item button is pressed in the column, it will call the show add item method in global signal. In this method, we emit the add item model visible signal and pass in the column. In the home script, we listen to the signal so we can access that column and set it as the column to add to. Here also we need to add it on the center container node since it is the one with the script. Let's run the scene again. Again I forgot to add the get children method. Okay, the card gets added, but we can't click any of the labels. So we need to set up the mouse filter in the color label scene.
set the mouse filter of both the label and the margin container to either ignore or pass. Come on another time I forgot to add the get children. Ok, we can select the labels. But after we come back they remain selected. So we need to modify our reset method. Here we need to set the background color of each label to its original color. So again we use the duplicate style box technique and set the background color. Finally, override the style box with a new one. Got a typo. On line 64 and 67. Ok, now it works as expected. Even the autosave and load works. That's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on push notifications if you haven't already so you don't miss a new video. Do like and comment on the video too.